Hello and welcome to another episode of Tractor Bob's Tractor Reviews. Now, today we're going to go over a mower that is in its own category. It's considered a zero turn, but you'll immediately notice that instead it has tracks. It's the only mower on the market that's manufactured in large production. There are other mowers that are manufactured uh, custom uh, that you'll actually be able to find on YouTube. Those videos are very interesting. The company name is Altos. So this is the 354. Uh, there's a 561 and a 766. And those are gonna be the three different mowers that you're gonna be able to choose from uh, in the TRX series. Not only does this thing come with a set of amazing standard features, some of the most premium features that you're gonna find on a zero turn mower out there, but not only that, there's some real benefits to having the track system. Okay, so let's get started on reviewing the Altos TRX 354. So the 354 is the starting mower in the Altos line. Now it's gonna be considered a commercial grade mower, therefore you do see the ROPS bar on it. So the main benefit of having the track system is the fact that you have a larger footprint on the ground plane. Now that's gonna give you a couple really key benefits here and we'll talk about them more as we go along. But one, you're gonna have better traction. So steep slopes, uh, wet slopes, places that are extremely wet, you'll be able to go through those areas just fine. Holes, you'll be able to glide over the top of holes much, much easier uh, with this track system. Those are the main benefits. Now there is one drawback, which we'll just go ahead and get it out in the open. The tracks is going to be more aggressive on more plush premium landscapes. That is true only if you do not properly know how to operate this TRX. The benefit of having the 354, you have a lower grade traction on the tracks themselves. So essentially, it's gonna be smoother on the terrain. And that comes standard on the 354. It's an optional feature to add on to the 561 and the 766. Now, I say that it's only true to those who don't know how to operate it because I'll share with you some footage just right off the bat here about how that isn't the case. And you see these professionals using it just fine and they're able to, you know, use this, they're able to mow on this plush premium grass without tearing it up or messing up the landscape. So it absolutely can be done. Now, if that's all you're mowing is super high premium grass, uh, you're gonna have to just use your own knowledge uh, and expertise about whether or not having the tracks is gonna slow you down. Because while it, you can do it, uh, it's gonna take more time and attention each turn that you make in order to make that optimal turn. But enough about that, let's go ahead and touch base on the warranty for this guy. So the warranty is gonna be a three-year engine warranty, a two-year transmission warranty, and a one-year manufacturer's warranty. So pretty standard stuff. Uh, on this mower that we have right here. So four dimensions in weight, we have a length of 81 inches, a width with the chute up of 55 inches. We have a total height of 76 inches with the ROPS up that you see here in front of me. Uh, the total weight of this guy is gonna be 1,200 pounds. Your front tires are gonna be 13 inches and your rear tracks are gonna be 11 inches wide. So let's go into the mower deck specs. We have a fabricated steel deck that's gonna have laminated 10 gauge steel. Uh, our deck depth is gonna only be 4.5 inches, so it's a fairly shallow deck. So this is only gonna come in one deck width, and that's gonna be the 54 inches. Now I'll go ahead and note here, that is also how they name the three tracks mowers. So the 54 is the 54 inch, the 661 is the 61 inch, and the 766 is the 66 inch. So the last two digits is the deck width that's gonna come in that mower. 
This mower has only an optional finish mower. Uh, the 766 mower is going to have a brush hog deck and a finish mower deck that are interchangeable. And that's another great thing about these mower decks is that they're designed to come in and out of the mower really, really easily. So our cutting height is gonna be 2.25 inches to 5.25 inches, and you're gonna have a quarter of an inch variation between that. As you can see, we're gonna have a premium deck because not only is it that fabricated deck that's gonna have an optimal uh, shape and contour to it to, to minimize side impact damage and other things like that, but it's also got a very, very thick reinforced edge on the side. That thing looks like it's at least half an inch thick. Now it's also gonna come with five anti-scalp wheels and all of them are gonna be recessed into the deck. So that's just gonna help the, the, the mower come in and out more easily. And it's just gonna give it more stability uh, for the anti-scalp wheels themselves. Now it is gonna be a foot operated deck lift with a pin uh, setting right there on your right hand side when you're sitting in the cockpit. We also have a clutch torque of 200 pounds per foot on this guy. Okay, so now that we've talked about the deck, let's go into some of the engine specs. This is gonna have a Kawasaki FX850V on it. So basically a 27 horsepower FX series engine with a displacement of 852 cc's, dual cylinders, dual hydro transmission, a transmission type that's gonna be the ZT3400. You're gonna have double-sided fuel tanks on this guy. So one there, one there. And then lastly, your fuel tank is gonna be a total of 10 gallon. They also sell these guys in a Vanguard and Vanguard is also that really, really high quality engine. The fuel filter is gonna be really easy for you to get on and off, just like that. And uh, draining your oil and everything like that is gonna be a breeze on this guy. So let's talk about some more of the performance features that come on the TRX 354 by Altos. So our top speed, which I haven't mentioned yet, is gonna be eight miles per hour. And it's gonna come standard with no flat front tires. That along with the tracks on the back, you're never gonna to have to worry about flats. Performance wise, you're gonna have a lot more range of possibilities when it comes to what you're actually capable uh, of mowing. Trenches, you know, up, up in the shoreline of ponds, hunting trails, horseback riding trails. The Altos mower is going to have the best capabilities in those types of situations. To those of you that are professionals out there, think about how this guy can expand uh, the job possibilities that you can take on. If you're already turning down jobs that you could be otherwise getting done with one of these machines, it might be a great fit uh, to add to your fleet. Back to some more of the performance features. So, this guy is gonna be a super smooth ride, and I'll show some examples of that here in a second. So on the back, you're gonna have rear torsion track suspension. That's just gonna to add the, to the smooth and uh, to the smoothness of the ride and the way that it contours to the landscape. So the last thing I wanna mention before I sit in the mower is gonna be the collapsible ROPS bar. That's just a really handy feature to have. Uh, with the ROPS bar up at 76 inches, with the ROPS bar down, it's significantly shorter than that, I don't know the exact height, uh, but it looks like it's almost three feet less. So let's go into the comfort of sitting on the mower. And I gotta say, it's extremely comfortable. So we're gonna have a suspension seat with lumbar support, armrests, and we're gonna have the ability to go forward and backward. Now this suspension seat will allow you to set your weight, and it's gonna be really easy to do so. There's just a dial down here that you turn, and you're gonna set your weight to that. The numbers are right there. And when you sit down, it'll be at your ideal. Wait. So the foot operated deck pedal is going to allow you to easily change the deck. It's not gonna be as easy as per se a deck dial that you will get on some of the TRX mowers, but nonetheless, it's pretty easy to use. So you're just gonna press down on the deck dial, push forward on this deck lock, and it'll drop it down to the height that you have in the pin. So if I wanted to put it up to five feet, I just drop that pin down in there. And there we go, it's at five inches. I said five feet, I meant five inches. The arm controls are gonna have two bolts and nuts that just uh, come in and out and you can move these up. You can adjust them to, to be in a higher position if you want. I like this lower position that it's in currently. 
and the arm controls have a good amount of resistance to them. When you, when you move up to a higher quality mower, the way that your arm controls feel is going to be really important uh, because on the lower end zero turns, they're more or less pretty wobbly and they're not super sensitive when you're driving. So these guys have a great consistent amount of pressure. Next, our PTO engagement switch is just right here on off. It's going to be really, really easy to turn that off if you need to. Your RPMs and then your throttle right here on the right hand side just to get your engine started. Uh, your gas gauge is going to be here on the right hand side. Um, your key uh, is going to be plugged in right here. You're going to have an hour meter on this guy. On some of the higher up models, you're going to actually have a digital display. Uh, you're going to have a second gas meter on that other side. And then the all, the all around compartments that you get here is really, really nice. Uh, one nice feature that it has is it has on um, the cup holder over here, it actually has a place where the water is going to drain if you, if you leave this thing overnight and a bunch of water gets in the cup holder or something like that. They did not put rubber mats on the floor. Now, I'm not going to critique this like it's a negative thing uh, because I don't really think that it is. I think that it was more just a design decision of the people that they considered would be operating this machine. Given that the people that are going to be using this machine are probably going to be using it in places that might be a little bit dirtier uh, than your typical zero turn mower might get into, they know that these rubber mats are going to get torn up even quicker than they normally would. The one benefit that you get from those rubber mats is the, is the added friction that you get. So with this guy, no rubber mats. So let's check out how this thing actually performs in real world conditions. Now. I've been provided with some awesome footage by Altos that I'm actually deciding to use for this video in particular. I'm curious what you'll think of it. Let me know. I normally like to test out the machines by myself, but we keep this guy in our showroom and with a price tag of $12,999, I just don't really feel like taking it out in the sub freezing weather that it's raining outside today and uh, giving this guy a go. And we also have a video that's about a minute and a half on our channel that you can go check out. It's one of our Altos that we sold to a customer uh, and we demoed it for that customer outside on a wet rainy day on the side of a highway. So definitely go and check that video out if you're going to be using this thing in really, really steep slopes. So here's some footage of the Altos being used.